the first example that we are going to learn about the shock sensitive transport system is your maltose uptake shock sensitive transport system we have already learned kya hoga bahar se salute outer membrane cross karke periplasm mein aayega periplasm mein wo binding protein se bind karega aur fir wo binding protein help karega uska transport inside the cell okay the same thing is going to happen but we will learn in which is the name of the protein how exactly that mechanism takes place in this manner uh, i'm going to take you directly to the diagram as far as we can learn from that fine so this is exactly your a cell a part of a cell membrane ka ek part hai pura ye jo yellow color mein yahan pe hai the thing we are in yellow color mm -hmm. called as the outer membrane this is the gram negative bacteria so it has an outer membrane and then this particular region over here this is your peptidoglycan layer a thin peptidoglycan layer and this entire region here this region it is called as your periplasm ye jo region hai ye periplasm hoga because this is between your outer membrane and your cytoplasmic membrane or your plasma membrane so this thing in pink color here is your cytoplasmic membrane or your plasma membrane and inside that you have your cytoplasm okay so outer membrane hai peptidoglycan layer hai then you have your cytoplasmic membrane and inside you have your cytosol or your cytoplasm okay now have a look here this is outside of the cell ye cell ke outside mein we have someone waiting here which is called who is called as maltose okay so we are studying about how exactly maltose is taken inside remember we learned that the examples of substrates or solutes which are you uh, transported with the help of shock sensitive transport system are your sugars and amino acids so maltose comes under a sugar it is a sugar disaccharide sugar now here you have your maltose which is lying outside the cell and this is your outer membrane first important it has to cross the outer membrane and here we have a pore See this particular thing we have shown here is because ये ऐसा एक protein है transport of protein है which is like a pore. And see whenever we say transport of proteins, remember one thing here: transporters can be of two types. One is a channel protein and the second one is a carrier protein. It's better if you take down these things. Transporter जो भी होता है दो type का होता है एक होता है carrier protein और दूसरा होता है channel protein. So this is actually channel protein because it is like a pore. But when we learnt about the types of acceleratory diffusion, I showed you an animation, right? वहाँ पे कैसे होता है जो प्रोटीन है उसको बोलेंगे कैरियर बिकॉज वो कैरियर सल्यूट के साथ बाइंड करता है और फिर सल्यूट को अंदर पास करता है दैट मैकेनिज्म इज लाइक अ कैरियर एंड सिंपल एक पोर्ट है ओपन ऐसा हो जाएगा वहाँ पे चैनल आ जाएगा जिससे आपकी सल्यूट एंटर कर सकता है अंदर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ चैनल प्रोटीन फाइन ओके नो लेट्स कम बैक टू मार्टोज ट्रांसपोर्ट so now this maltose is lying outside it crosses this outer membrane through this pore and that pore is called as a lamb b pore as you can see here lamb b it is in small letters mein likha hai or it is italicized it means it is a name of a gene so it is lamb b gene ka product jo hai that produces your protein this particular pore theek hai the gene which codes for this is lamb b so in exam if they ask you what is the name of the protein in your plate capital l i m but here it is given as lamb b pore because it is a gene product of this pore sorry this is a gene product of this gene lamb b gene okay so now maltose has entered the periplasm there is no problem to cross the peptidoglycan layer it enters the periplasm and in the periplasm you have somebody like this this blue color components here this is called as the maltose binding protein now binding proteins are specific for a particular solute so this particular solute specifically binds to maltose and it is a gene product of the gene mal e in exam you may have a question what is the name of the binding protein for maltose so if they ask the name of the protein then you will write it as capital m this is how you will write this is the name of the protein mal e ठीक है ये प्रोटीन का नाम है बट हियर इट इज गिवन इन इटेलिक्स एंड इट इज इन स्मॉल लेटर इट मीन्स दैट दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द जीन विच कोड्स फॉर दिस प्रोटीन ओके सो वी हैव द माल्टोस बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द पेरीप्लाजम वंस इट फाइंड 
the maltose here it will go and bind to it so as you can see it has bound to it so jaise hi aapka ye solute maltose binding protein se bind hoga this binding protein is going to undergo some conformational change first it is going to bind to maltose second kya ho jayega it is going to undergo some conformational change जिसके वजह से वो क्या हो जाएगा इट गो एंड बाइंड टू द इंटरनल ट्रांसपोर्टर्स व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन द ग्रीन कलर प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल्स आर द ट्रांसपोर्टर प्रोटीन एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस इज कॉल्ड परमिएसेस और इंटीग्रल प्रोटीन इट इज एन इंटीग्रल प्रोटीन इट इज कॉल्ड एज परमिएसेस एंड इट इज द जीन्स कोडिंग फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन इज माल एफ एंड माल जी दिस नेम्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट स्टूडेंट से मे आस्क टू द नेम्स ऑफ दिस प्रोटीन ओके तो ये हो गया माल ई और ये है माल एफ और ये वाला है माल जी ओके सो दीज आर द नेम्स ऑफ द प्रोटीन सो वन दिस बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन एंड सल्यूट इज फॉर्म इट विल दिस बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन अंडर गो सम कॉन्फर्मेशनल चेंज एंड देन इट विल गो एंड इंटरेक्ट विद द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ प्रोटीन जैसे ही ये जो कॉम्प्लेक्स जो सल्यूट और बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन का कॉम्प्लेक्स आके आपके परमिएसेस या फिर इंटीग्रल प्रोटीन के साथ इंटरेक्ट करेगा द पोर विल बी ओपन द गेट विल बी ओपन फॉर द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ द माल्टोस माल्टोस विल एंटर द सेल ओके एंड फॉर दिस आल्सो यू हैव वन मोर प्रोटीन हियर व्हिच इज एक्चुअली विच प्रोटीन इट इज अ पेरिफेरल प्रोटीन है ना ये एक पेरिफेरल प्रोटीन है विच इज कोडेड बाई द जीन मालके मालके प्रोटीन प्रोटीन जो है विच इज अ पेरिफेरल प्रोटीन इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द ट्रांसपोर्ट बट इट्स एग्जैक्ट रोल इज नॉट नोन येट इसका एग्जैक्ट रोल अब तक नहीं पता है लेकिन इट इज विदाउट इट्स प्रेजेंस ट्रांसपोर्ट डेस एंड टेक्स प्लेस सो इन सम ऑफ द अदर वे इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प इन द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ द सल्यूट इन साइड द सेल नाउ एज ए मैंशन दिस इज अ एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट सो इफ यू हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट वॉट यू शुड वॉट शुड कम इन योर माइंड दैट दिस रिक्वायर्स energy so hence we can see here there is a molecule called as x which is having a high energy phosphate bond and for energy giving providing energy for the transport of maltose this phosphate bond is getting broken down and your phosphate is released so jab ye bond break hota hai aapka phosphate release as the inorganic phosphate there is a release of energy and that energy is used for the transport of maltose inside the cell so this is exactly how your maltose uptake takes place let me just quickly revise this thing you have maltose lying outside the cell and once it enters through the lamb b pore which is present in the plasma membrane it enters the periplasm in the periplasm you have the maltose binding protein which is called as mal e it binds to the maltose it will bring it near to the transporter protein this binding protein is going to undergo some conformational change and then it will interact with the transport protein and will allow it to open its pore there is one more peripheral protein here which is also going to interact with your permeases or your integral protein and help in the transport of maltose so maltose will enter the cell remember binding protein is not going to enter the cytoplasm binding protein ka kaam itna hi hai ki usko kya karna hai aapke maltose ko integral protein ke paas pahuncha dena hai aur integral protein ko interact kar rahi ye batana hai ki aapko open hona hai you have to open your gate so that maltose can enter only maltose will enter binding protein will not enter okay and for this transport since it is an active transport you require energy so we have here a high energy phosphate bond compound and that phosphate bond is broken down and released as inorganic pi and ye process may there is a release of energy and that energy is used for the transport of the solute which is called as maltose